Water Funner here. I'm just outside working on my trailer. Trying to get my new winch hooked up on to the front here. I wanted to make it somehow so that it's easily removable and somehow that I could still use this roller here, the guide. And hopefully this is going to be strong enough for this thing here. It's it says 3,000 pound capacity and if you use this loop here that gives you a 6,000 pound capacity. So hopefully that'll be big enough to winch cars up onto this trailer. I've used other ones and I've never had one quite this big before. I've burnt two other smaller ones out already. So oh, give this one a try and see what happens. But I want to make this one removable so it's not sitting out in the weather all the time. And the way I've started here is I'm cutting up some pieces of angle iron here and just using my grinder with a cutting wheel. So I'm going to make up some pieces and then I'll show you what I got. So what I'm starting out with now is two pieces of angle iron, they're uh, two inch angle iron. And they're nine inches long and uh, I'm going to start with one in this corner here and then another one on this side here and I kept them a little bit long so that it's going to overlap the bottom of the trailer and that's going to help brace it. My next piece is going to go across this section from here to here. That's 21 inches. So this angle is going to sit on top here facing this way. Since I don't have a welder here, I'm trying to simulate what it's going to look like. So I've got an angle iron on the top there, and I need to put another one farther down, and it's going to be turned exactly the opposite way. I was being a little more careful with this one. Those two are going to get joined from the top to make them nice and strong. And this one's going to go like this. So anyway, that's what my frame is going to look like. And my flat plate, plate is going to go on here. I need to put a brace up in between for a place to mount this roller guide. So it was kind of an oddball shape, so this is what I did here. I cut this end right here to four and three quarters, what I needed, and then I cut it across this way. I wanted to keep this thickness here, and now I just need to grind that off right there, and this is at six and three quarter, and that'll sit right down in there nicely. And that'll be a place for this to attach to. Coming along nice.